Shirgaon was to be the land and so was the channel for his arrival chosen by Sai Baba. All that was left was the manifestation of his plans for that ardent. Who could that be? Not long thereafter, the light of his reincarnation had to reach the heart of that someone. And it was none other than the embodied light was Mr. Prakash Deole. The statue of Sri Sai was installed at the hands of the erstwhile Vice President of India, Sri Bhairo Singh Shekhawat, followed by a glittering ceremony dedicating the temple to its people. Thousands of people from different places and different directions came to worship Baba. All his followers felt they were actually meeting him. Weakness, pain, sorrows, poverty and loneliness were actually forgotten in the kingdom of Sai Baba. This revelation to the teeming thousands of his devotees was also experienced by Sapna Lalchandani. Sapna Lalchandani reached Shirgaon, whether it was a call from Sai Baba or her incredible faith that drew her to him. She was never to return from here. She was entrusted with the responsibilities as secretary trustee of the temple. Jai Jai Sai Namo Namaha Sadguru Sai Namo Namaha Om Sai Namo Namaha Shri Sai Namo Namaha Jai Jai Sai Namo Namaha Sadguru Sai Namo Namaha Sai Namo Namaha Shri Sai Namo Namaha Jai Jai Sai Namo Namaha Shri Sachidananda Sadguru Sai Nath Maharaj Ki Jai Ghe Uni Pancharati Sai Namo Namaha, 
the anticipation of meeting and seeing Sai Baba makes their feet move with a hypnotic spell. And before they return from here, they receive a communion or prasad. And everyone arriving at the court of Baba, or everyone's heart is fulfilled with content with Mahaprasad. Sai Baba reigns here and all his subjects are treated with respect and dignity. In his courtyard, every devotee is treated equally. In his sight, all are equal, so all are equally treated in this courtyard. Truly, on receiving the communion or Mahaprasad, his devotees experience the same divinity as when they visit the Sai's abode at Shirga. It is the Sai's blessings in the form of Prasad that actually fulfills them all. Sri Sai's abode is a grand replica of the royal devotion that he commands among his devotees. It embodies beauty, purity and piety in the mind and soul of the beholder. The pillars, arches and intricate carvings befit the palatial home of God. The golden peacocks spread out their wings as if rejoicing in the heavenly bliss and enhancing the beauty of the palace. The 11th foundation day of the temple was recently celebrated. In fact, it is no exaggeration that in the past 10 years every day was a celebration. There is no count of time from the moment you step into the premises. Be that Thursday or Guru Purnima, Sai Baba makes every moment precious with his presence. An exceptional guest house is being proposed by the devotees just like the Sai Prashad. It is their belief that Sri Sai Baba will soon bring up a miracle. There is only prosperity as Sai seats coming up in the days of Shirgao. <laughs> 